Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, MIDI control of uh, amps and stomps in Pro Tools. It's really easy. First of all, I mean, why would you want to do it? Well, here I've got a track. It sounds like this. Great. I'm using 11 Free. Um, I want to work on the guitar sound a little bit, but I think guitar sound, more than anything else, are a, a place where you want hands-on control of more than one thing at a time. And obviously, with a mouse, you can only control one thing at a time. So that'll loop round, and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when it's working. There we go. So gain, maybe, but at the same time, I think I want to lose some treble. Actually, that's quite good. More bass. More gain? No, less gain. What about the mids? We'll see where we are on the mids. Wrong one. Presence. No, not so much mid. And I like that. It's a little bit darker and sort of chunkier. You see the point. OK, so how do you do it? Well, the way it works is I've got my, I've got my keyboard set up. That's great. I've got a MIDI track over here, which is, which is receiving the MIDI. There, if I press some keys. And I'm using the encoders, obviously. I don't need to do anything special at all, apart from um, instantiate whatever plugins it is I want to control. And then they show up as MIDI nodes. So for example, here I've got a Studio Reverb. It's bypassed at the moment. But all I've done is uh, I've just right-clicked and done MIDI Learn. You can set to specific, but really, I mean, if you've got MIDI Learn, why wouldn't you use it? This is an interesting one, just because what I've done here is uh, I've set up uh, on here, that's not working. Okay, which brings me to the point, which is that for this MIDI track, you can use the same one, but you need to assign it to the relevant MIDI node. So there we go. Now change that to Control Studio Reverb. And here we go. And that's now working nicely. So. Okay. And I've got control of the decay. You'll notice that because these are endless encoders, it's picking up when I move it for the first time. Shorten that back a little bit. Now, the one that I find a bit too sensitive for an encoder is the mix control. And I'm right down on 0.8. So I've assigned that to the mod wheel because it's much finer control. Perfect. OK, so how do you set it up? Well, what you do is here I've got a white boost. This hasn't been set up, so I'll take this out of bypass. And all you do is, uh, I mean, here, nothing's happening. It's not going to happen anyway, because you do have to remember to change that over to speak to the relevant, uh, the relevant MIDI node. But here we go. I've got that set up, but it's not happening yet. So all you do is you right click MIDI Learn, have that on there maybe, uh, MIDI Learn for that one, MIDI Learn for this one, and MIDI Learn for that one. And then I've got control over the plugin. So. So far, so good. Anyway, that is MIDI control of the plugins that come from the uh, the 11 rack. So the stump boxes, um, 11 and 11 free, and uh, yeah, you can do things. I, I've already done a video showing this using it on the Black Shiny Wah, for example. But any of those things you can control using MIDI Learn, and I think it's really, really useful addition, uh, especially if you don't have a control surface.